Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. And I know a lot of the high carb raw vegans, they say like oils are really damaging and it's a lot of fat for the body. What do you think of that? Okay. The idea that oil is damaging to the body in the sense that they're talking about uh, is not accurate. Oils are damaging to the body in other ways. Um, a lot of people think that oil coats your blood cells. And in coating them, those blood cells can no longer carry oxygen or nutrients. So this is why you need to stay away from oils, because you're basically coating your blood. But as I talked about earlier, in chemistry, uh, you've got things that are hydrophilic, which means they like water, water-soluble, and you've got things that are hydrophobic, fat-soluble, and they don't mix. Oil cannot move through the bloodstream because the bloodstream is water-based. So there is no way for oil to move on its own through the bloodstream. It needs to be chaperoned. It needs to be encased in something that is water-soluble. And what it's encased in is something called a chylomicron. The cells of your intestines form these chylomicrons, which are water-soluble on the outside, fat-soluble on the inside, and they transport the fats through your blood. So the fat isn't actually touching anything in your blood because it's encased. And if your liver is releasing fat into the bloodstream, then it's housed in lipoproteins. LDL, HDL, VLDL, IDL, those are all lipoproteins. That's what the um, low-density lipoprotein, LDL. So again, the fat and the cholesterol housed inside of something that's actually a protein. It's water-soluble. So when they talk about the bad cholesterol and the good cholesterol, totally inaccurate information because it's actually LDL is protein moving through your blood, encasing cholesterol. The cholesterol doesn't touch anything. So um, the reason that oil is bad is that it oxidizes. Whenever you refine something, you make it available to oxygen because you've removed all the safety hardware, and now suddenly oxygen, which is in our atmosphere, sees the oil and says, ooh, and attacks it. For instance, avocado inside of the skin, green. Cut the avocado and let it sit for half an hour, brown. Because that skin is part of the safety hardware of the avocado that protects it from oxidation. Once you cut that skin, the fats in the avocado can oxidize, and they do so quickly, which is why your guac goes brown. Unless you add lemon juice, which is an anti oxidant. And when fat oxidizes, it becomes a very damaging molecule called a lipid peroxide. That's why oils are bad uh, in large quantity. In small amounts, in an unrefined oil form, like a rough olive oil, nothing wrong with a rough olive oil, as long as it's in dark glass or foil. You want to keep it away from light, keep it away from oxygen. But if your olive oil is in a clear glass and you got the big one at Costco because it's cheaper, and you've got this much air in the bottle and this much oil, well, guess what all that air is doing in the bottle? Oxidizing the oil. And you put it out in the, it's clear glass, so the sunlight gets in there, oxidizes it, and you're eating rancid oil, you're putting lipid peroxides into your system, and you're damaging your DNA. So, oil, if you go to Italy or Greece or France or Spain and you get real olive oil, it's cloudy, it's murky. It's not the stuff we get here. They wouldn't sell this, the real olive oil. They wouldn't sell that here because Americans want the clear stuff. They want it to be homogenized. Over there, you got all this stuff floating in it, but that's good. It's like apple cider vinegar with the mother, the Braggs. You want that in there. <laughs>